If you are looking for a mountaintop experience, the highlands over Pogue Creek Canyon State Natural Area will lift you to a whole new level. This is a stunning, magnificent, impressive sight to see. But how we got up here actually begins at the bottom. That black and white mare will meet us right out there. And that she'll come out here to this gate. Sassy, come here. Come on. Sassy is among a herd of submissive horses that put their trust in Larry McMillan and willingly follow him wherever yeah. he leads. Horses instinctively search for someone who will take responsibility for their safety. And that's what they have here at Southeast Pack near Jamestown, Tennessee. These horses get ridden so much, we're open seven days a week all year long. We do snow rides, we do full moon rides, we do everything. So these horses are handled literally every day. Their creatures a habit, and this is what they're in the habit of doing, and it's a good thing. In the business of guiding trail rides and overnight trips for more than 25 years, Larry channels a bit of Daniel Boone with just a touch of Jeremiah Johnson and a whole lot of John Wayne. We have three rules. You can't fall off, you gotta have fun, you can't talk politics. If you abide by all three of those, we're gonna have a great ride. Out on the trails of Big South Fork, where the mountain laurel are in full bloom, there's not a lot of tendency to talk about current issues, world problems, or the present state of politics. We are on a journey into our own little jungle, and all of our worries will just have to wait. I feel sorry for the people that don't know this is here. We're 150 miles from Nashville, about 175 miles from Lexington. This is all public land. This belongs to everybody. And people just don't know it's here. I tell people, it's not been forgotten, it's never been found. Since the only way in is to ride, hike, bike, or float, we went with Larry's gated stock. The Tennessee walkers he uses on his trips are famous for what is called their running walk. By keeping one foot on the ground at all times, they move sure-footed, fast, and smooth, covering more miles in a shorter amount of time. My horses make the worst rider in the world look good. You can come up here and never have been on a horse. Coming here and riding a horse for a day will change your life as long as you had a good experience. And that's what my goal is. It tickles me to death to see you guys ride my horse and have fun. If you're having a tenth of the fun I am, we're having a lot of fun. Trail rides are typically a nose to tail, hour long, slow walk, and then back to the barn. But not here at Big South Fork, and certainly not up on the highlands overlooking Pogue Creek. If your heart can handle it, there are 13 overlooks that will leave you breathless. I feel like God put me here for a reason, and that's to do what you all are doing on my horses, to enjoy just a bit of my life that I've enjoyed for more than half of my life. I've been riding here for over 30 years. I don't plan on leaving. Our family vacations almost always include horses. We've ridden in Florida, Maine, Oregon, and a lot of other places. Even though we live here in Tennessee and own horses, we've never been here. But now we've discovered what a lot of other people already knew. The readers of Horse and Rider magazine have named Big South Fork as one of the greatest places to ride in the entire country. You can be a novice rider and come to Big South Fork and have a wonderful time, or you can be an adventurous rider here, and there's trails out there that are very challenging. And to me, having that many options with trail riding in one spot is a luxury. Right now, I'm in my favorite moment, just looking out over the plateau and seeing this, and thinking this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see something like this. It's amazing. Our son, Ezekiel, as well as Larry's dog, Winchester, both get to enjoy the luxury of tagging along on this work trip. And even though Larry longs to help us all disconnect, warning us before we leave the barn there might not be cell service, he recognizes that up here on top, there is 4G. So I'm uh, keeping people updated on what's going on. With moderation, you can do a little bit of both, I guess. Like Larry said about his horses in the beginning, it's a good thing. 
The ability to share this moment instantaneously with family and friends lets us relax and enjoy it all a little bit longer. When you're out here and you meet Larry for the first time and he assigns you the horse that you're going to be with, you go, well, I'm going to have to bond with this horse fairly well, so let's get to know each other a little bit. So yesterday we went on our ride and my horse's name is Slick. He likes to gallop a lot and I like that too because I have a need for speed. So whenever we're riding, we're just going as fast as we can. And then today, uh, Mr. Larry said, would you like to pick a different horse, maybe a smoother, easier ride? And I thought about it for a second and I go, no, me and Slick, we have this relationship, we have some history. So yeah, Slick and I have had a good time these past two days. People have called me crazy for being here as long as I have, because there's nothing else up there. And that's what drew me here. Without going out west, I could come back east and have this whole place to myself. If it had the effect on you that it did on me, the very first time I came here in 1975, before we left and went home on that trip, we were planning our next time on a piece of metal in this place and drew me like a magnet. This is God's country here. I just get to play it. <laughs> It's ironic in a way. As Larry likes to put it, it's a whole lot of nothing. But there is so much here. It's a privilege to see it. I'm Annette Knoll Hall on the Wild Side.